One of the highlights of our trip to Summerhaven was getting front row seats to the Mount Lemmon Sky Center. At over 9,000 feet above sea level, this is a professional observing site with some of the largest telescopes available to the public. However, the best part, at this observatory, you become the astronomer. They are some of the most beautiful and famous pictures ever taken of the universe. The Horsehead Nebula, everyone knows it's so famous, it's kind of like the Grand Canyon of the night sky. Far away galaxies and distant nebulas so colorful and truly amazing, it is hard to believe they're even real. This one is called the Fireworks Galaxy, and the nebula is known as the Flaming Star. These clouds of gas from which stars form glow, uh, and they allow us to see all the detail in the, uh, the structure of the gas and the dust that is embedded within it. Adam Bloch is a world-renowned astrophotographer whose images have been published all over the world and regularly on NASA's website. It's very exciting for me, so it allows me to extend my ability to share and inspire in science and astronomy. After studying astronomy and physics at the University of Arizona, Adam helped create the Mount Lemmon Sky Center, featuring Arizona's largest dedicated public telescope. In fact, through this telescope, people have a chance to see things that most of humanity have never really been afforded the opportunity. Unless you can get your hands on a bigger telescope and plop it down at a better site, this is as good as it gets as far as seeing the universe. Located on Mount Lemmon near the town of Summerhaven, this observatory offers international and remote access to people around the globe. You can control this telescope from anywhere. So people can log on using specialized software to see what the telescope is doing. It also offers nightly programs where visitors can become an astronomer for the day, viewing the wonders of the cosmos from constellations to atmospheric phenomena. This particular telescope, it's called the Schulman Telescope, is specially designed not only to get a good view through, but to take pictures with. You can see to the furthest reaches of the universe, very far away galaxies, quasars, or things that are nearby, planets within our own solar system, asteroids, and many others. This telescope, which contains two mirrors, one of which is 32 inches, is specifically designed to reflect light, capturing some of the most interesting images, ones you can say are out of this world. All telescopes can see the universe out there, but the larger your mirror, the more light you collect. And for us, that means the more light we can put on our eyeballs, the better we see things. It also means that this telescope makes for better photography. When it's something that I haven't taken a picture of before, for me, that's a form of discovery, of exploration of the universe. I just couldn't imagine doing anything else. The study of the universe is just one of those fundamental, built-in, I think, desires that everyone has. It addresses the ultimate questions of where we've come from in terms of the origins of the universe and how things might proceed from here. Gazing at the universe through Adam Bloch's photography does bring about our innermost curiosity. We wondered how space images are actually captured. They almost seem too beautiful to be true. Coming up next, find out how close to reality these images really are. Our eyes in general are not sensitive enough to perceive very many colors through even the largest telescopes of the world. These instruments that astronomers use are much more sensitive and far more appropriate for analyzing the light that the telescope collects to make these pretty pictures. This is the Mount Lemmon Sky Center and it features the largest dedicated public telescope that people can get a chance to walk up to and take a look through with their own eyes. We just toured you through the Mount Lemmon Sky Center, which is part of the University of Arizona's Stewart Observatory near the town of Summerhaven. We were so fascinated by the incredible images from renowned astrophotographer Adam Bloch, we just had to find out how he does it. The camera that I use to acquire images through this telescope detects the same wavelengths of light colors that we see with our eyes. So in that sense, whatever the colors are that show up in the picture, I don't choose if something is red or blue or yellow. However, 
our eyes in general are not sensitive enough to perceive very many colors through even the largest telescopes of the world. These instruments that astronomers use are much more sensitive and far more appropriate for analyzing the light that the telescope collects to make these pretty pictures. These images here are not enhanced or touched up in any way. In fact, these pretty pictures are captured through the instrument's lens. Adam says these large telescopes analyze light and are extremely sensitive to the many colors of the universe, much more sensitive than our eyes. So in the pictures that I generate, they are the true colors. If your eyes were as sensitive as the camera that I used and you could expose for as long, that is approximately what you would see. At Sky Center, you can also see stars in the daytime sky. You can even observe the sun safely. And the sun is remarkable because every day it's doing something usually pretty uh, spectacular. Adam says one of the highlights for him is addressing misconceptions. So when he tours a group, he says no question is off limits. People come to the program never having looked through a telescope or even really paid attention to a dark night sky. They might not even have access to one living in a bright city. When people look at the sky, I know by the end of the program, they can answer the question whether those stars they see over their head, are they in our galaxy or are they in any other? That's a common question. People want to know uh, about the planets and they want to know about the phases of the moon. They want to know uh, about various things that impact their lives, or maybe they don't, and this has always just been a mystery to them. I will tell you one of the hardest questions I've ever had to answer though is from a, it's always the kids. They come up with the questions that are really tough. So one small boy, he asked me the question, what is space? I don't even know where to begin with that. That is a very difficult question to answer in a sentence or two. If you've never seen Arizona's starry skies like this before, or experienced these Santa Catalinas and Mount Lemmon quite like this, don't worry, you're not alone. But hey, now is your chance. So the next time we hit Arizona's scenic highways and byways, we hope we'll meet you on the road. Thanks everyone so much for joining us. I'm Robin Sewell and we'll see you on the next Arizona Highways.